Overnight, a major boost for Kamala Harris on her first full day in the race. The vice president securing the support of the more than 1,976 delegates she would need to win the Democratic nomination, according to an NBC News tally. That makes her the party's clear front runner ahead of next month's convention in Chicago. On Monday, visiting what's now her campaign headquarters in Delaware, Harris offering a preview of her case against former President Trump. Donald Trump wants to take our country backward. Casting herself as a former prosecutor going after her political rival, a convicted criminal. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. <laughs> Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Harris in her campaign debut taking the torch from President Biden, still sounding hoarse from COVID as he called into the event, vowing they're still in the fight together. The name has changed at the top of the ticket, but the mission hasn't changed at all. The two sharing a virtual embrace. I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. As many top Democrats coalesce around the vice president's candidacy. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi endorsing Harris. The Senate's top Democrat Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, though, holding off for now. Expected to meet with Harris soon. And with no major candidates emerging to challenge Harris, the spotlight's quickly shifting to her possible running mate. Among the names getting the most attention, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, and Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, a must-win state for Democrats, who says he spoke with Harris Sunday. This is a deeply personal decision that the vice president will make. Also under consideration, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir saying he's flattered to be part of the process and attacking the vice presidential pick on the Republican side. The problem with J.D. Vance is he has no conviction, but I guess his running mate has 34. And later today, President Biden will return from his Delaware Beach house here to the White House, where he has been recovering from COVID, of course. No public events on his schedule for today, but he is expected to deliver a nationwide address within days to share more about his decision to leave this race. Craig and Hoda. All right, Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.